What's up guys, it's me again. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what to do so you don't have to reprint um, and waste plastic when you get little bad um, prints like this. So, I mean, you see this one isn't that bad? So I'm gonna show you what to do so you don't have to reprint this entire piece all over again. That starts right now. Okay, so what happened was when I was printing, the supports came off. Um, for some reason, they just came off the bed, and it didn't give me the support to give me this part. If you can see on this part, it's like a it's a, it's a really bad overhang um, that didn't give me the rest of it here. So I what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, a trick so that you guys don't have to waste plastic and having to reprint this entire thing all over again all right so I'm gonna show you guys that right now so what I've done is I've taken um, oven baked clay like this Sculpey right here that you can get at Michaels for like 98 cents I think Walmart has them too for 88 cents you're really really cheap and what basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna sculpt this missing piece right here right that missing piece right you get this missing piece right here we're just gonna sculpt it and then we're going to glue it on uh, so that it stays so that you can not you don't have to waste plastic to, to reprint this so I'll, that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to take this Sculpey and I'm going to sculpt it to go right here and then we're going to bake it in the oven so that it hardens and then that way we can finish the piece so let me do that right now so I'll just put it on 275-ish, right, bake, just a little small toaster oven, I put a piece of foil right there, and we're just going to bake it um, according to the instructions. Oh, dirty. Alright, so I've baked it, it's cooled down, it looks like this, um, now let's see if it fits. Huh? Looks pretty good, right? I know that there's still a gap right there, but uh, we're going to do more stuff to this um, so that it's going to be more solid. Um, we're not done with this yet. I just wanted to get the general shape of it so that we don't have to spend another 12 hours and waste filament on the plastic, uh, on, the, on the 3D printer. So this thing's, you're going to hear that, it's pretty solid. So, all right, so I'm just going to take some super glue, glue this on. And then we're going to do some other stuff to this so that it's more solid and smooth and flush with the rest of it. Okay, so now I've, uh, I've put in the um, clay piece on here. And it looks pretty, uh, looks pretty good to me. And I've went ahead and gone to step two. So I've taken fiberglass resin and I sealed it on here. Um, to keep it from moving, okay? Fiberglass resin has adhesive properties that bind so that it sticks. Now this thing isn't going anywhere. Not only does it have adhesive properties, it also has strengthening properties. So it doubles for us. So I put it on both sides. I put it on this side, so you guys can see. Um, so that it doesn't move and it sticks, really sticks to, to, the, um, to the 3D piece. And then here, because it wasn't totally all the way flush, this thing does a better job of um, creating something that's going to be able for us to flush, uh, be flush with, with the 3D piece. So that's what I did. Um, so now I am going to finish this up and get it ready to stick to... Uh, where is it? Well, I'm gonna stick this thing first on top here And then we'll put it all together and then once it's all done. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product So here's the final piece um, as you guys can see it turned out pretty good. I've already uh, primed and sanded the um, chest piece here um, Some of you might be wondering why I didn't use the uh, the plastic pellets um you can definitely use those, 
but because of the shape and the way um, it came out, I felt that it was better for me to sculpt it by hand with clay, um, the, the missing piece. So that's why. But you are more than welcome to use a plastic pe the plastic pellets. Um, I don't have any on me right now. Um, you can get them on Amazon. I'll, I'll put a link down on the bottom where you guys can get the plastic pellets. But you can definitely use those as well. Um, but yeah, it turned out okay. So stop wasting your money um, and your time on redoing prints. Um, if you guys want, you can just use, like I said, the clay or the plastic pellets. So thank you guys for subscribing or, or thank you for watching. If you guys liked the video, please subscribe. Hit the like button down at the bottom. And I'll see you guys when everything's complete.